Every time St. Paul talks by the power of the Holy Spirit, we need to pay attention because his, his teachings and um, his epistles are absolutely profound and very deep in theology and um, there's so much depth in what St. Paul says. He is one of the great, if not the greatest theologian the world has and will ever see. An absolute theologian teachings to the depth, the depth of theology, my beloved. But we're going to sort of breeze through it. St. Paul, his epistles to the Ephesians. In this chapter 5, he is trying or he is actually revealing to us the characteristic of those who are wise. What is the characteristic of a wise man, a wise person? In these verses, St. Paul is revealing the characteristic of a wise person, my beloveds. But before we come to the wise, we need to see who is the fool. Before we come to the wise, we need to see who is the fool. A fool person is the one who ignores his end, the ending of his life on earth. The one who does not care about his eternity. Any human that cares not about their end on earth, about their eternal life, they are considered as fools. They are considered as fools. Also, fools are referred as is mentioned by St. Paul in these verses as the unwise as well. You can say ignorant, unwise, fool. So the fool is also referred to be unwise. Because the Holy Gospel teaches us and specifically in Matthew 25 13 where the Lord Jesus is speaking here the Lord Jesus himself in Matthew 25 13 where he says watch therefore for you know neither the day uh, nor the hour in which the Son of Man the Son of Man is coming Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. You need to be wise. Why? Because you do not know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. In this particular verse, the Lord Jesus is sending a very important message to all of us. You see, the day and the hour, the Lord says, you do not know. Why? Because the day and the hour is only known in the thought of God. Every single one of us has a day and has an hour to be born and to depart at the same time. That departure, the Lord says, you don't know the day, neither the day nor the hour because it is only known by God. Since you don't know the day nor the hour of your departure from this world, you need therefore to be wise, not a fool or unwise person. 